everyone, or afternoon, whatever it is. Uh, this is Carl F. Rose recording uh, from Bedford, Pennsylvania. This is going to be my generic intro from now on because of my situation. Um, I just have to sneak around to do videos now from now on because of the things. Anyway, we're going to get into the video right after this. Good morning, everyone. This is Carl F. Rose recording live from Bedford, Pennsylvania on Tuesday, November 13th, 2018. And um, I wasn't going to do a video today, but um, uh, I felt that I had to after after seeing the news. Um, the reason I have my I've got my setup like this because this is the kind of videos that I want to do. Uh, got the you know my my face down here and a little square down there. But anyway, here's the problem. Um, as a title, and I'm going to put the link to this story in, in the uh, description. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, as you can see, NFL legend Lem Barney sues Happy Pizza for race discrimination. Um, now let me scroll down here a little bit more. Um, now many of you know that um, I've been following the Detroit Lions since um, 1968, and I clearly remember uh, Lem Barney. He, as far as I'm concerned, uh, he was been one of the he's one of the uh, best corners that the Lions uh, ever had, up to and including even now, uh, Daria, people like Darius Slay. Not only did the opposing quarterbacks not want to throw to him because he, he intercepted a lot of passes, he hit the receiver so hard he caused a lot of fumbles. Not only that, he returned kicks, he returned them well. He, um, uh, him and, and, I re, and I remember um, uh, Charlie Sanders, the tight end, when the Lions used tight ends. Um, uh, back in the day, back in the day, you know, Granted, the Lions didn't get any champions, but I, championships uh, since 1957, or they've never even been to the Super Bowl. But they had different teams back then. I always, but as angry as I am with the Lions, the current state of the affairs with the Lions, I'm still going to defend uh, the Lions to the teeth. Um, uh, what happened? And I don't care what this pizza place says. Uh, they they claim uh, that there's nothing happened. Anyway, basically, what happened is they were uh, refused service, and they were told they live in in the uh, uh, township of Commerce, which is predominantly white, uh, and uh, they were told by the manager to go to Southfield. And the manager went on to say, you're more at home there. And Southfield is predominantly black. That is totally unacceptable. Um, and uh, and I am so glad that the, the Barneys are suing the, uh, uh, the Happy's Pizza. And if I lived there in that area, I wouldn't even be on the computer today. I would be, because they said that, that they were pre pre prepping that, that uh, location where they refuse service to for a for an upcoming event. Well, I'd be out there with a sign, and I'd be telling everybody to go away because it's a racist organization. Because this is what it is. It's, it's total racist. Uh, you just don't you just don't do that. Um, I I hope that manager gets fired, um, and I hope uh, that the Barneys win the lawsuit against the pizza place I would be out there I, I would be out there and if any of you any of you in the Detroit area or vicinity uh, boycott the happiest pizza um, uh, don't go there go out there with signs um, um, I they would probably I would probably be arrested because I would be out there with a sign because I'd be telling people don't even go in there um, I would be out there with a sign big time I mean this is uh, totally unacceptable um, normally, I don't do this kind of video, but I, um, on my, my TV channels, I get uh, a lot of local uh, news stations uh, 
from across the uh, from across the United States, from LA to New York. But I I watch um, I uh, mainly the, um, the Detroit uh, WDIV Channel Four. But I think I was watching the Detroit affiliate Channel Seven when this thing came out. Burned me up. Then again, when I went onto my my tablet, my uh, and my one of my news things that I have and my favorites in my ESPN, it popped up and I read the article more. I was just kind of going to blow it off because I actually clipped through the, the article. I didn't realize it was Lem Barney when they, um, I changed the channel when they said something about discrimination. Then I realized it was them. But, it, but regardless of who it is or what color they are, um, this, you know, the days of all white only restaurants and all black only restaurants ended a long time ago. But apparently these people at Happy's Pizza want to serve only white people in the white area and let the black people eat in the black area. I don't think so. No, that's that's not good. That's not, that's unacceptable. Um, this is just really, really upsetting. Anyway, um, let me... Let me just go to a little bit before I, I sign off here. I don't want to go on on this forever, but um, um, it's it's really upsetting, and you can read the article for yourself. But um, and again, um, I uh, w one thing about the lions, and and um, I know I said in the other video, I'm keeping my eye on the lions, but I'm full, pulling my full support to the Rams, which is what I'm still doing because I grew I grew I was born in Detroit but I grew up in Los Angeles um, and until the Lions organization until the Fords learn how to run a football team I can't in good conscience I, I can't I can't support the way they're going they're they're uh, they're inept or they're they're just they just don't even want to put a quality team out there. But that's not what this video is about. This is about Lem Barney, um, and about Happy's Pizza, and um, I just think the people in the area should boycott Happy's Pizza until they get an acceptable response. Uh, Happy's Pizza is denying all kinds of things, and uh, they need there just needs to be an all-out boycott against Happy's Pizza. And trust me, I would lead the charge if I was living in the area. Uh, let me just go on a little bit. And uh, Lem Barney, he was. I remember. <coughs> excuse me. As I said, I've been. I was following. I've been following the Lions uh, since 1968. And let me go on this little blurb here. Read this little blurb. Barney, 73, was a seven-time Pro Bowler who led the NFL with 10 interceptions as a rookie in 1967. Now, see, that's a team. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1992 and received his Hall of Fame ring in 2015 at Four Field uh, against the Chicago Bears. Um, he was he was just excellent. Him and Dick LeBeau, uh, Alex Karras, uh, Mike Lucci, the middle linebacker, um, all those people. I've got the football. I've got I've got the, the autographed football from um, right around '62. It's got uh, Alex Karras signature on it. It's got Don Shula signature on it. It's got um, Dick LeBeau, uh, Alex Karras, uh, Gary um Earl Morrill, uh, George Wilson, the the coach who traded away um, Bobby Lane. Um, uh, so, so I'm attached to that football, and naturally I'm attached to the Lions. But the, their organization um, needs to get it together, and um, that's just the way it is. But um, uh, the 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 pizza chain, uh, Happy's Pizza, is is not. Well, here's uh, let me let me go in there. Let's see what do they say. Um, According to the um, attorneys, uh, the Barney's attorneys, uh, I'll find out here exactly what the, uh, uh, yeah, uh, okay, I'm just, I'm looking for, for what was exactly, yeah, the manager said, go to the Southfield store because they were more at home there. In other words, that's where all the blacks go. So, uh, 
go there because they will be more at home? I don't think so. That's just a racist comment. That's just got to go. Anyway, this is just too upsetting. And um, I just wanted to get this out because this is just garbage. Uh, boycott uh, Happy's Pizza. Um, do whatever you can. Um, regardless of, of, of who it is. It just happened to be Len Barney. But uh, any of this, I don't care if there's a discrimination against black or discrimination against white, uh, gender, uh, um, uh, sexual orientation, or whatever. Uh, any kind of discrimination is wrong. This is outrageous, uh, and they need to be made an example of, and um, uh, that's all I have to say about it. It's just too upsetting. So I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. <laughs>